In some situations, we want to have a better and a faster overview what happens with the fixtures in this particular moment. And you see in the fixture sheet, we have a lot of information available. We see a big list of fixtures. And of course, as bigger our show is, we have more data in there, more fixtures, more attributes. And in some point, it can get a little bit overwhelming and you can lose a little bit the overview of that. Therefore, we introduce now two new fixture sheet modes in Grandamay 3 version 2.0. Let's see what they can do for us. So at the top left corner of the fixture sheet, we can enter the sheet settings and we will find a button which says sheet mode. In this case, we have a look at two modes we already know, which is the fixture mode and the channel mode. And now with version 2.0, we introduce the dimmer plus and the sheet filter mode. So let's have a look at the dimmer plus first. What you can see here is all the fixtures in tiles. So you have a deeper, um, a little bit faster overview of what happens with the fixtures immediately. You can see more fixtures and you have a graphical representation of what happens at the output currently. So next to this, you will find uh, information which says what the dimmer value is doing. So at the moment, for example, 13% for these fixtures, the dimmer is closed for these fixtures as well here. So you get a graphical and a numerical explanation of what happens. Then dimmer plus means that you will always have the dimmer attribute as the information and you can choose in your encoder bar what else you want to see. So for example, you want to have an overview of dimmer and color. So then you can see the fixtures with the dimmer and the color information or you want to combine it with position information. So you can see dimmer and all the position information you have for the different attributes. Next to the dimmer plus mode, we already talked about another new mode, which is called sheet and filter. It looks on the one hand, it looks very similar. So you again have these tiles for your fixtures and you get the graphical representation over here. Next to this, you now by default have all the information available for all the different attributes. But, and this is the advantage of this sheet and filter mode, you can use your filter objects now to reduce the data in this sheet. So let's have a look at a filter pool. We can find it in our data pools under filters. And we have created some filters here. So for example, we have created a filter which just shows dimmer and position information or just shows dimmer and color information. What we can do now is we want to assign this filter directly to the sheet. So we use a swipey in this case or the assign key. We say assign this filter directly to the sheet, pressing in the title bar. And then this sheet mode shows us the dimmer information plus the color. And as you can imagine, you can store yourself a lot of different views with a lot of different information you want to see for your fixtures in this case. A very handy option you can find in the sheet options as well is the merge cells button over there. So merge cells means if we want to merge based on feature or feature group, we even reduce the lines we will see in this fixture sheet. So merging by feature, for example, merges all the lines for the color attributes, in this case, red, green and blue, just to one line. And you will see just one time the color preset, which is actually valid for these specific fixtures. So two new fixture sheet modes, which help you to identify what happens with your fixtures on the output immediately.